The women's 100 meters at the 2023 World Championships has come to a close after we've just seen one of the most talented fields in history compete in a final that lived up to all expectations. Shikari Richardson dropped the fastest time of her career, setting a new championship record of 10.65 with a commanding performance in the final after showing tremendous form throughout the season. Opening up the event yesterday, there wasn't much in the way of surprises in the heat stages as all of the favourites to progress made it true while looking comfortable, with Richardson running the fastest race of the round with 10.92. Marie-José Talou and Sharika Jackson ran the two slowest times among the athletes who won their heats, with Jackson running 10.04 into a minus one headwind and Talou running 10.06. This led to them having an unfortunate draw, placing them in the same semi-final along with Shikari Richardson, meaning that three of the eight fastest women in history were running in the same semi-final. The consequences for this is that only two of the athletes could qualify automatically while the other would have to qualify based on the time they run, which would mean they get an unfavourable lane in the final, having to run in one of the outside lanes. With this in mind, it was expected to be the fastest of all three semi-finals, which turned out to be the case, with the first semi-final being won by Fraser Price with a time of 10.89, with Tamari Davis qualifying behind her in 10.98. In heat number two, Richardson got left in the blocks with impressive starts from Sharika Jackson and Talu either side of her, but she managed to get herself back into the race and the three big guns finished well clear of Hobbs in fourth place as Talu and Jackson both finished in 10.79 while Richardson finished in 10.84. In heat number three, Julian Alfred finished first in 10.92 while Brittany Brown finished second and third place Dina Asher-Smith finished in 11.01. This meant that Richardson was, as expected, the fastest non-automatic qualifier, while Asher Smith and Swoboda from Heat 1 finished with the exact same time when reduced to thousands of a second, so they both secured a place in the final. In the final, lane 1 was given to Swoboda, with Dina Asher Smith in lane 2, meaning Richardson was given an outside lane of lane 9. The other athletes lining up for the final were Brittany Brown, Sharika Jackson, Fraser Price, Julian Alfred, Talu and Tamari Davis. When the gun went off, Fraser Price failed to put any distance between herself and the rest of the field, which has been a trend in her races this year, even though she's known for her incredibly explosive starts throughout her career. Jackson managed to pull a step clear of Fraser Price, with Talu staying in contention as well, but Richardson's performance in lane 9 was the best race she's put together so far in her career. I think that the fact that she wasn't placed in the lane between two of the fastest athletes actually worked to her advantage and she was able to just focus on running her own race without feeling pressure from the athletes around her. Due to the camera angle, it was hard to tell where exactly she took the lead in the race, but she finished the strongest and knew she had won gold while crossing the line, as Jackson finished 0.07 seconds behind her in 10.72, with Fraser Price finishing third in 10.77. Despite showing great form throughout the season, Talu could only finish fourth in 10.81. Richardson's winning time of 10.65 now makes her the championship record holder having replaced Fraser Price's time of 10.67 set in Eugene last season. And with the 200 meters still to come, Richardson may feel confident about her chances of beating the defending champion Jackson for a second time and taking double gold.